Hello and welcome back to Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. We are off, away from town, uh, to try and rescue you, genius. Oh, this is the wrong way. I know where I have to go. Uh, word is, it's being held by the Dandy Digger Gang. And we need him to fix the generators so we can get these doors that I was just by open. Before we go, though, I'm going to uh, get some supplies. I always like getting bigger clips because uh, it's nice. And that's all I'm going to buy because I should be able, even though I'm really low on ammo, I should be able to restock on my way. Also, got to talk to this guy. Pardon, you the professor? Well, yes, I'm Professor Dimble. What can I do for you? Looking for a Eugenius. You knows where he is? Oh, Eugenius? He's a good kid. Oh, I heard he's being held by the Dandy Digger Gang. They're out looting that grub temple. Oh, hold on. I'll get that gate open so you can get there. Hey, Charlie, come in. Hey, yeah, it's me. Hey, open that gate, would you? We need them to fix some stuff around town. You got it, Professor. So, the Grub Temple. You can learn a lot from the, uh, the Clackers, because they gossip all the time. So, if you are ever lost and stuck, it's good to just stand around town and listen, and somebody will probably give you a helpful hint. They also can say some pretty funny things. Oh yeah, new ammo. Hmm, sting bees. Those things fire fast. Best grab a bunch. Best grab a bunch indeed. I do not like sting bees a whole bunch, but they're definitely useful and pretty cool. Uh, you may notice I am getting loads and loads of them, 90 per bee, and I can also hold 487 because they shoot really fast as you're about to see. It's like a machine gun, but all it does is damage, so it's good if you, oh. it's good if you want to kill outlaws. These guys are new. And a pain in the butt because you cannot melee them. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh, being covered in spikes. Uh, makes it hard for you to be punched. Nobody. Stranger gracefully flops on the ground. Probably should uh, get some more ammo, seeing as I am quite low indeed. I don't need to fill up all the way right now, uh, but if I see it, I may as well take it. Should... Don't have to worry about stocking back up on thud, thud slugs, because this is a rescue mission, so there is no boss I will have to fight. It's just get in, save your genius, and get out. Wow, wasn't that exciting. So 
So we got these nifty scaffolds here. <laughs> Why? Uh, nobody really knows. Somebody just decided to build a scaffolding. And uh, if we're not too keen on bountying all these guys alive, I bet you can guess what happens. <laughs> Surprisingly, more of them survive than you might think. Oh boy, a lot more of them survived than you would think. Oh, I will get some. I'm gonna get... Actually, I'm gonna get all of it, because I'm gonna get all of you. <laughs> if I can aim, that usually helps. If you shoot bolomites from too far away, uh, they're not very effective. Don't mind me while I just pick up your lunch money and head on my way. Been looking for skunk bombs. Those'll make them outlaws puke. Yeah, then I can bounty them while they barf them. And the final piece to the puzzle, the stunks. We now have every type of ammo, well, not currently in our inventory, but every type of ammo has now been seen. You've actually seen stunks before if you watched everything, but uh, now we have them all again because they got locked up for some reason. And uh, this is a good place to get them because there are lots of thugs. Although I don't use stunks a lot, there are several times where they come in handy. Typically, it's better to capture guys alive. Uh, not when they're shooting rockets at you, though. In that case, you just want to kill them, because nobody likes rockets. Oh, wow. Also, timing's important. Let's bust out a stunk, because uh, I sent some enemies. Oops, a daisy. Yeah. Stunks are alright, because they can stun a big group. It just doesn't last very long to make it very effective. And, uh, now we get tons of money. Money is always nice, because, uh, we are trying to save up enough for an operation. Whatever that operation may be. Well, there's only one way to find out. As you can see, we have a boulder, but uh, no one underneath it. So I could... Oh, there. Now he's underneath it. Never mind. Oh, wow. That missed... <laughs> Definitely getting a B rank for this accuracy. No S rank for me.
fuzzles. I do my best not to kill uh, outlaws, but fuzzles are a good way to quickly incapacitate an outlaw because they start running around like madmen. But uh, I do not blame them. I would too if I was covered in a fuzzle or two or seven. Nothing? Nothing at all. Nope. Sorry, buddy. It was nice knowing you. slam is so effective though. There's another one of those spiky guys up ahead. And uh, <laughs> the camera doesn't get caught on an I-beam. And I'll show you what happens when you try to melee the spiky guy. It's not pretty, I can tell you that. they just installed an elevator. Would have been a lot more efficient. <laughs> you also don't risk smashing your head into boxes in an elevator. Unless you're really challenged. This guy... Oops. It's going down. Got to get the arc right. Ah, oh, perfect. All right, here goes nothing. Hey, buddy, come here. Let's. Oh, how did someone get behind me? I'm trying to do something. Oh, so uh, that's what happens. He literally just flings you away. So uh, you gotta use ammo, or die. Or run away. That's not always an option. And... He is pretty tough. But two zap flies. Take him down, no problem. We have finally conquered the endless metal ramps. Which uh, apparently have an end, which is right here. Nice job paying attention, buddy. Anything glowing? You know that's gotta be good. Crystals can instantly be converted into moolah. And now we enter... The beautiful <laughs> grub temple. And no, they are not literally grubs. Dude, these poor little critters. Who puts them in boxes and why? <laughs> Damned if I know. But I sure am grateful to whoever did it. Oh, you genius. Time to get you out of here. Nope. Is he immune to the stunts? Oh, nope. 
Oh, he just does not really care. He just pukes once, and then he's like, oh, all good. Oh, I still have no bull mites. Or, I guess I have no bull mites again. Yeah, something weird is going on here. Well, you guys are getting bounied up and taken away into my magic pockets. Oh boy! I thought, oh boy, I thought his rocket was going to hit the roof, but uh, apparently they're smarter than I thought. is quite the temple and uh, you'd be surprised that the natives could build a temple like this once you see them which you will they are uh, quite the group to say the least but uh, I love them the natives are pretty hilarious and uh, their voices are actually one of the reasons I'm not playing the HD version they changed the voices in the HD version for whatever reason and uh, I really hate it I really really hate the new native voices so I am playing the original also there are some slight sound effect I don't know if they're glitches or changes I'd hope they're glitches because I they just don't sound as good and I'll tell you more about that in a second. Ain't nobody gets away. Oh, what a show! You saved me from those savages! Uh-huh. Now how's it we get out of here? Ah, funny you should ask! Beneath that guardian statue lies the secret catacombs of the natives and a way out. You'll notice their stories painted on the walls. <laughs> Interesting, actually. The fools thought they was cursed by a demon. Call it the, uh, the Opti-Guy. They believed it killed their steep guardian and stole their water. And of course, someone probably just got up and shot their steep. And when the dam got built, that's what took their water. <laughs> Bunch of superstitious silly little shits yeah it's time for some uh, radical excavation yeah maybe you're right mm -hmm. looks like the way out yeah yeah you better watch your step you wouldn't want to uh oh. That was one glorious statue of magnificent Steef. Oh boy. <laughs> Why you would make a, a hallway that zigzags that much, the world may never know. <laughs> and now I terrify the natives. So they are talking about what's in this room. Uh, they have an idol. And uh, if I take it, I get moolah. And it really has no consequences, so I'm just gonna take it. Oh, there was one. Yeah, they usually stay inside, so it's hard to get a look at them, but we'll see them later, don't worry. 
<laughs> Pula. <laughs> I love their voices, though. I found you. Oh, I love the... love the grubs. I don't think I need any. Oh, I do need some chipmunks. I really need bull mites. But... So yeah, I love the grubs, grubs voices in this one. Not so much the HD. Uh, there are some sound effects. Like when Stranger slams into the ground, he just breathes outward and he doesn't... Uh, Make the wonderful slamming noise, so it sounds really... It just doesn't sound like it fits well, because he just hits the ground and goes, Ugh. Oops, a daisy. These are... slags. <laughs> and you can fight them or just let them bite you, and they disintegrate. Not sure why they developed that evolutionary trait, but uh, somebody along the line had it, and they survived long enough to reproduce, so there you go. You can finally get some bolomites. And yes, you can hunt bolomites with bolomites. You can hunt anything with anything. I just use zap flies, because, uh, don't have to waste ammo. And, just like that, we're back in town, and I'm going the wrong way. We're gonna drop off or, not drop off. We're gonna get the reward for you, genius. And then... Next episode, we'll pick up the one for Joe Mama. Alright, buddy. Raking in that moolah. Just need to do that uh, 11 more times and I'll have enough. Well, I guess I could do 10 more. Yeah, 10 more times and I'll be good. I'll have enough for my operation. So in the next episode, we'll go after Joe Mama. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching, and this is Q, signing off.